Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iaccino. So, gap up today, not quite fully filling the gap. Running up, we had 554.48, so essentially 554.50. Running up there, rejected from that price action, then pausing the next bar. This is on the four hour chart and you can see that trend line is a trend line all the way back from the defining point back on March 3rd. So that trend line's held rather nicely. Gonna update our levels. Uh, major resistance, we have the 50 overhead on the four hour and a cluster right around 582. That's gonna be our first level if we do get above the trend line and then 608 are the key levels. Not yet a first cross, but it's closing in. So key support's coming in now in about 505. Remember, we do have a potentially unfilled gap, which would take us down. Let's see. Let me go to the daily here. If we have the unfilled gap would take us down to 505. So that's the first area of key support. Breaking below that, we'd then be watching for this low, the 474, and then that gap filled down to that, you know, that 430 area. Not yet an overbought condition running up against the top of the daily rotation zone. So lots of uh, lots of resistance up here around 582 also. So if we get above the daily rotation zone, that 582 is going to be a very key level. A little lower volume today. So we shall see what transpires. So above the rotation zone, that's what we're watching for 582, then 608. Uh, if we get to below to uh, if we start going down, we'll start watching for that 505 level and then the 487 area. So we have for you on Tesla. We'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.